Hello, Financial Leadership Academy. I'm Kirkland, one of the Academy's coaches and pastor at Chevy Chase UMC in Chevy Chase, Maryland. Congratulations on sticking with the September 30-day challenge. I wanna help you keep moving, so let's just dive right in. Today, we're focusing on what undermines our goals. So turn up your Beastie Boys playlist, because listen all you all, it's a sabotage. So at this point, you've identified your wildly important goals, that's your wigs, and you're navigating the whirlwind of everything that competes for your time and your attention. You and your leadership team are clear on lead and leg measures, you've drawn up a scoreboard, and your plan is in motion. And yet, as John Lennon said, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. Any plan is not guaranteed to go smoothly. Some will get on board with the plan, some will struggle at first, but come along with the vision. And then there are some who will resist, either because they do not buy into the change or there are structural issues that need to first be addressed. My daughter and I are currently reading The Hobbit and Gandalf the wizard has a helpful word for us. The wise wizard says, it does not do to leave out a live dragon out of your calculations if you live near one. The dragon we live near and usually forget to account for, the saboteur. Let me caution you on something. The saboteur isn't necessarily someone who resists the change you want to lead. Sure, you're gonna be faced with resistance to any plan, but let's not get carried away with accusations of sabotage. Could it be that the saboteur we need to calculate for is actually us? I can only speak for myself, but I know I have failed before. I suspect you have also experienced failure at some point. All the motivational quote posters in the world that say failure is part of the learning process cannot cancel out that lingering self-doubt that makes you wonder if you can actually develop and lead change in your church or your organization. That's why we've got to prepare ourselves to overcome what sabotages us, whether that sabotage comes from within us or outside of us. In the 4DX model, we're encouraged to develop a cadence of accountability where teams help us stay focused on what matters. Accountability might ask, what are the one or two most important things I can do this week to impact the lead measures? Sabotage asks, how can you focus on that new goal when there's so much else that needs your attention? Or it asks, why do you even think this will work? Here's a suggestion for today. Take your 30-day challenge journal and write down those dragons, I mean saboteurs, that show up. Maybe it's the email app on your phone that creates this instant portal for the whirlwind to just jump right back in front of you. Maybe it's that one person in your community who is looking for any excuse to question the plan, the goals, or even the very premise that it's time to change some things. Or maybe it's that inner voice that reminds you when things did not go well in the past and makes you question whether you really have what it takes to lead in this moment. It may take you a few minutes after this video to name the saboteurs who keep showing up. That's okay. Just know that they're out there and if you're having trouble naming them, well then today's a good day to start identifying them and to make a plan for what you will do about them. Here's some good news. You are not alone and you are not on your own. So who can you talk to about these saboteurs? Someone on your generosity or core team? Your spouse or a trusted friend? God? Please, for the sake of your well-being and for the sake of the mission, ask for help as you strategize how you will address the challenges you face. Stay focused on what matters and don't get stuck trying to go it alone. Every good plan encounters challenges along the way, perhaps even sabotage. Ask for help, and I am confident you'll find your way forward.